looking at my Gucci, it's about that time to start another episode of the Liberation Kicks on Your Podcast. Let's go. Today is Juneteenth. And in that vein, I really wanted to just come on here today and talk about just where we are right now, right? Where we are as a country, where we are as a people. And the one thing we need to always understand is that just like the significance of Juneteenth, where in the state of Texas kept um, slaves through two years after freedom and they weren't freed until the Union soldiers went and freed them. But anyway, I digress. The point is this, as we na- navigate, as we navigate this life, as we do the things that are for the best of ourselves and for our families, we have to always remember just like the Juneteenth people. No one's gonna tell you, boo. As a matter of fact, they want you to keep working and slaving, giving you fake news so that you don't go nowhere. But I'm here to tell you, it's 2024, and if you let fake news put you back with four years of the Trump administration, I'm telling you. You need your head checked out, okay? Me and these veterans out here dealing with PTSD. Y'all, what the hell is your excuse? We have to come clean with ourselves, right? We have to embrace our true selves. And I'm not even gonna lie, your girl was like way out in left field after making sure my son was good with everything he was dealing with, which he's super duper awesome now. And my mom, who's awesome now you know but sometimes that's what we do we sacrifice ourselves we sacrifice for ourselves to make sure that those that we love are doing great the problem is when you've lived a life of sacrifice and service sometimes all that self-sacrifice takes a burden and i'm gonna tell you your girl was burnt the fuck out okay <laughs> i was gonna run away from home as a matter of fact <laughs> i did run away that's why i'm out here in the deserts of nevada you know um but the thing is is that i don't regret anything involving me taking care of my family taking care of you know those that i love but what i have learned is that Sometimes you can do all of that to the detriment of yourself. And I will tell you, Hunter, being a caregiver, <laughs> okay, <laughs> no, let me tell you, ain't no joke. And, you know, having um, grown children who may be going through things, you know, they're never fully grown. These are not my babies, my Jimmy Scotty, my babies. Yeah, they're not fully grown. I say they fully grown. (laughs) But the point is this. Who the sunshine stop? The point is this. You want to make sure not to lose yourself. And and I ain't gonna lie. I lost myself. I lost myself in my family. If one of them would have dropped dead, I would have dropped dead too. And that is where you have to say, meditate, get it out, flush it out. You have to let it out and bring it back in. Okay? And so what you have to do, you have to make sure that you don't do like I did. Like you're just doing too much, right? It took for me to have my mama tell me, you doing too much, I'm fine. (laughs) <laughs> she said it a lot more um, fiercely than that. anybody know my mama. <laughs> she dropped about a bunch of F-bombs. Anyway, and my Jimmy Jam been doing good for so long that he is, man, he doing real good. He got a real great job, car paid for, got a house. <laughs> I'm like, damn, boy, what the fuck? 
I'm so busy up here worried about you. I ain't did shit for myself. And so that's one of the things that we have to watch out for, right? Because, you know, I wouldn't take one change. I wouldn't make one change to the things that I did for my family. Because my son is still walking on this earth. That's the trick. And Bertha Mae is still nerve wrecking me. But I get to call around on Donna and be like, yo, take care of your mama. Because she your mama too. And I ain't coming back yet. <laughs> but anyway, thing is, if you don't put your hand up and say, hey, I need some help. I'm stressed out. I don't even know which way is which. And I happen to be blessed beyond thought processes because I have so many options. I would never put myself in a situation. I ain't even gonna lie. You know, I mean, the government, the VA paying for this, but <laughs> baby, this is like clear me. <laughs> you know, I mean, I've been learning to play guitar because it's soothing, you know? I've been, um, well, I've been golfing. But then it's so hot here that we got to go like at six in the morning. <laughs> I skipped out on a horseback riding because they want you to clean up the poop. Oh, I'm not doing that. Y'all said we're going to ride these damn horses. I'm not cleaning up this shit. Okay, you're going to put me back in the headspin. <laughs> anyway, for me right now, what's next for Sony? It's about where do the next goals get me? Okay? Because you got to understand that um, some of us, you know, we spend so much time feeling bad about ourselves. I mean, not me, I'm just saying. Some of us. That you, you don't see all the blessings that surround you. And, you know, sometimes, you know, you get to this fork in the road and you say, self, which route do I take? And I'm going to tell you right now, me and this social media baby, let me tell you, <laughs> I could write a blog, I could do these videos, I can go jogging in the morning, have my coffee, cook me a gourmet breakfast, sit down and write for four hours a day. And then, like, go out, hang out with friends, have drinks, do whatever. You got to make it make sense, right? And that's one of the things they're working on with us. Like, when we all got here, the first class was, how do you want to structure your life after this? And so, we came into this on a military training style. Like, look, you know, we're going to begin at the end. What are the results that you want to see? And when you put that down and you say, hey, I want to be living like this. I want to be living like this. I don't want to have these triggers. I don't want to have people in my life that don't mean the best for me. I don't want to have uh, takers all around me, okay? I want to have genuine friendships with people who feel for me and will go hard for me like I go for them. So when you look at that, you have to say, how am I going to position myself? Like, you position yourself in business. But we don't talk about positioning ourselves in our daily lives. Okay? You have to position yourself. And I had to ask myself, how do I want to position myself to be around like-minded people? I mean, because I am 50-some another. Yeah. And... And make sure that I am getting the greatest value for the effort that I'm putting and sowing into other people. See, that's what's real. That 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 right there, that's hey, <laughs> that is a whole ball of water. Because if you can't um, get the value back that you're putting into others, oh my God, do you know that? <laughs> That kind of stuff pissed me off for about two years, okay? 
you know, because, honey, let me tell you, I'm the queen of the lifeguard system, okay? I bail all these motherfuckers out. I do everything for everybody, you know, relationships, friendships, all that shit. And what do you get? Like Snoopy. I got a rock. <laughs> I'm just saying, okay, I got so many motherfucking rocks. I made this rock guard. <laughs> so I don't want nobody else in my life that's throwing rocks, okay? No. No. And and I make no apologies about it. And I'm never going to make apology about it. And I talked to God about it. And God told me that when I am blessing you, it's about you. Okay? So I ain't even mad about that. Because you know why? My blessings overflow. And I tell people, be careful how you deal with me, baby. Be careful. Okay? Because God got me. He loved me. You know, and I love him. So this is the whole point of what I'm saying. What I'm saying is, you really want to be mindful about what you take into the next season of life. And most of us here are in our 40s, 50s, some people older, you know. I think we got a couple of Vietnam vets up in here with us. <laughs> anyway, they a trip though. You can't tell them <laughs> that they old. Oh, you don't want to hear that shit. <laughs> anyway, so yeah. And so we talk openly, we talk freely about the things that discourage, about the things that have caused you setbacks, and about how just being a self-sacrificing person can oftentimes be to your detriment. But then just like you, just like me, everybody else, life gets in the way, and then I just get on that doggone rat thing, the rat escalator. And I be doing the same shit I did before. <laughs> but God, to you guys, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, shit, I gotta make it count, okay? Because people my age is dropping dead. And I don't have time to be triggered. I don't have time to be arguing with nobody because I ain't got time to be dropping dead. Anyway, the point is, picture your goal. Picture the way you see it moving. Create a plan for yourself. Let people in your life know that you do have boundaries and that you will not be jumping over the boundaries anymore that includes family brothers because that's their mother too and you have to make those boundaries and you have to say this isn't good for me this does not bode well for me and if it doesn't bode well for me, and if it's not good for me, and if it's not entertaining or tastes good or fun and wet <laughs> on a vacation, that is, then uh -uh, I don't want to do it. I don't want to do it. I don't have nothing to do with it. Mm -mm. And so when I tell you I'm only done with half of the, of the program, and every day I, I, find, I learn something new. And in my over-educated ass, you know, I, oh, I tell people all the time, let me tell you something. You don't never know enough that you can't learn some more. It's so much knowledge and understanding in this world. It's so much spiritual knowledge in this world. It's so many things that we have no idea about. <laughs> you better take some nuggets. You better take some of these knowledge nuggets that, that you might get blessed to get sprinkled on you. Okay? And that's all I'm doing in, you know, Queen Crusader. Hey, YouTube. You know, that's all I'm doing is try to sprinkle little nuggets on it. Let people know, hey, this is sound advice. These are things that will make your life better. But if you don't want to um, take it in, I don't care. <laughs> okay? Because I get phone calls, emails every day from people who do care. From people who want to say, Sonia, can you help me? Or Sonia, I want XYZ to happen. Can I pay you to do one, two, three? Cool. But I'm not 
jumping over, running over oceans to help ungrateful ass persons. And, and then you got to think about it. Maybe they're not ungrateful. Maybe you just taught them how to misuse you. Take you for granted. Take the things that you do for granted. Because these same people that you do and give everything for, shit. They wouldn't come get you gas if you ran out five miles down the road. <laughs> okay, that's probably a bad analogy, but you get the point. So, deliberations with Sonia. We're going to be putting it down, taking notes. I'm going to have a new notebook ready. So, this is the season three intro. And we're going to be talking about self-care, women's empowerment, self-empowerment, real love. Uh, 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 I'm searching for a real love. Ain't going to find that shit on the internet, real love. I'll tell y'all so. <laughs> That's making me delirious. Anyway, we're going to be doing relationship stuff. We're going to be doing um, just travel. We're also going to be talking about politics and financial this and that occasionally because those are some of the issues that are coming out in my next book. However, I mean, I just want, you know, to be able to look my viewers in the eye real talk and say hold on tie not in that snitch and hold on because it ain't over oh i should learn how to scratch and i can put this music in my video but then i might get a copyright ding <laughs> anyway this has been deliberations with sonia season three intro Holla at your girl. I'ma put up when my next season will start, but I'ma make sure I'm back after the fourth. Yeah, so it'll be after that. In the meantime, check out my mental health minutes and slash moments. I try to keep them under a minute, but it's so increasingly hard. I'm like chop, 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 chop. I'm gonna have to call it mental health couple minutes. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna stop it. It's so fucking stupid. Anyway, y'all, signing off from beautiful. Uh, where where are we? Clark County, Nevada, some another. Las Vegas is somewhere. I can see it in the distance, but it's actually pretty um clear out here. You know, it's like a trip. But you know, them forest fires coming from California, just down the street from the border, and hunty. They tell me we need to have a air alert. <laughs> air alert. Okay, nobody need no damn air alert. Need to have a stay your ass and <laughs> alert, which is what I'm about to do. Smooches, deliberations with Sonia. This is your girl Sonia. Like, share, subscribe. You got it. You know it. I love you. We gonna do this. We gonna get this shit together at 225. 20, 25 is gonna be coming in with a bang, baby.